ever just sit there thinking and thinking, worrying about thinking and on edge about what others may say, do, or yep, you guessed it, think. If so, fret not for you're in good company. And although you cannot simply rid such overthinking, you can take a few massive strides to place all that nonsense to one side. I, my friend, like you, and human, an emotional being who doesn't always act in accordance with sense. I react. I act on how I react. I do this and that and often make it worse. Maybe not out there in the real world, but within me and my own self, yeah, you better believe it's a whirlwind. I imagine you can relate because you too are human. We overthink and worry and act all irrationally. It is annoying yet to be expected and it's important you give yourself a break. But that isn't to say you should let your overthinking rule you. You can take steps to put it in its place, that illogical anxiety spiral. Yet doing so is not easy, not because the answers are hard per se, but rather because the questions you ask are simply not the right ones. But don't worry, that's what this video is about, as are the other videos part of this series. Here, we focus on asking the right questions rather than flinging broad questions out into the universe and I hope the answers will somehow magically find us. Those ads aren't great, so let's focus on improving them with three questions to help you overcome overthinking and place it in its rightful place. Let's begin. Question one. What is the biggest feeling I feel right now? Step into the moment, here, right now. Close your eyes, take a deep breath. Allow your mind to settle. Once it has, think about the feelings that feel most heavy. There are likely many, yet one is heavier than the rest. What is it? How does it feel? How does it make you feel? You need to take any further action than that right now. Just sit with this feeling, allow it to be, allow it to have a voice, allow it to make you feel. It's just a feeling, not bad, not good, just is. Question two, where does this big feeling come from? Once you settle on that feeling and allow it to be, Turn your attention toward where it comes from. Question it. Shine a light on it and interrogate it. Not to rid it per se or because it's wrong to feel the feeling. Do this out of curiosity. Why are you here? Why do I feel this way? Where did you come from? Why did you first appear? When did you first appear? Maybe you come to some answers straight away. Maybe not. It's okay either way. Just be curious and allow what comes forward to come forward. Question three, how are you triggered into feeling this? Now you appreciate where it comes from and why it exists. Think about how it rises to the surface and what triggers you to feel this way. Is it a defense mechanism? when someone says a certain something, when a certain someone says anything? What is the thing that leads to the thing? Your feelings stir for a reason, and this one is no different. By understanding what triggers it, you can start to question if it makes sense or not. Often by taking these three steps, you take those you need to, to quiet that raging mind and halt your overthinking in its tracks, or at the very least, minimize its impact. Thank you for watching today. I hope you've found these questions both helpful and somewhat inspiring as you take your next steps forward. 
I'd love to hear from you, so please add your biggest takeaways in the comments. Or if you have questions of your own you'd like to share, well, I for one would love to hear it. For the other videos in this series, check out the description where a link to the playlist resides. Oh, and while there, make sure you hit the like button and the subscribe one too. Thanks again, my introspective friend, and thank you as always for being you.